Sanrio. You hear the name and you automatically think Hello Kitty, My Melody, and the other lineup of super cute characters coming from Japan. But what about the name Sanrio itself? If we Google how did Sanrio get its name, we are told a romanticized story about how Sanrio's name comes from the joining of the three great rivers. San meaning three in Japanese, and Rio meaning river in Spanish. Um, what? <laughs> this is kind of confusing. Someone needs to look into this. Hello Cupcakes, my name is Rosie, and I am a Sanrio expert. And I looked into this matter, and the more I researched, the more I found that the founder of Sanrio, Mr. Shintaro Suji, was constantly changing the story of the origin of his company's name. So today, I'm going to share with you my findings, and we're going to piece it all together and uncover the truth. You can't know where Sanrio comes from without knowing where the man comes from. Mr. Tsuji. He grew up in Yamanashi Prefecture in Japan, and during hard times, he did what he needed to do to make some cash. It was right around the time of the war, and as a college student, he was orphaned and had to resort to bootlegging in order to survive. After getting his college degree, he cleaned up his act and got a job in the government. While there, he hated his job, but he proved time and time again that he had a knack for business. So when he decided to leave his job to start his own company, his buddies in the government became his first investors. Wanting to sell specifically countryside goods, like the ones you can find in his hometown of Yamanashi Prefecture, he decided to call his company Yamanashi Silk Co. Yamanashi because that's where he's from, and Silk because that's what Yamanashi is mostly known for. He sold everything from trinkets to actual silks, which then evolved to selling everyday goods that the average consumer could actually afford. Cause real talk, silk is expensive. Changing the focus to selling cute items aimed at women was a winning move. Now, without getting into too much detail about his life and how he built Sanrio, we can get into that in a different video if you guys want. But for now, let's... Fast forward to after the success of his first solid Sanrio character, Kitty White, AKA Hello Kitty. People started asking why he changed the name of his company from Yamanashi Silk to Sanrio. And it was actually more complicated than Sanrio sounds cooler. In the 1970s, when the company was founded, Japan was not seen as a country that produced awesome technology and pop culture like we see it today. And that wasn't a flavor that the rest of the world was particularly impressed with at the time. Most of it had to do with the lingering war sentiment. And in order to be more global, Mr. Suji knew that he had to ditch the obviously Japanese name if he wanted to appeal to an international market. It's said that he got a lot of inspiration from what Walt Disney was doing out in the West. And for him, that was gold. After all, if a simple mouse character can become a global conglomerate, then why not a cat? In California, Disneyland was becoming bigger and better. And word of Disney theme parks being built in China and Japan was big news. The type of success that Mr. Tsuji could really look up to. In the book Pink Globalization by Christine Reiko Yano, it's implied that Mr. Tsuji might have been influenced by all the city names in California's West Coast, where Disney and its creator were located. City names like San Francisco, San Fernando, and San Jose. Where, by the way, was where the first Sanrio store was built in the U.S. back in 1975. And California at that time was where all the American media was being produced. And so these types of names in the eyes of a young Mr. Suji might have been seen as very Western. And Western equals globalization. So for those of you who don't know, the names San Diego, San Bernardino, San Luis Obispo, and other city names in California actually come from a time between 1769 and 1833, when Spanish priests went up and down the California coast, establishing Catholic posts, also known as missions, in an effort to convert the indigenous population after the conquering of Mexico by the Spanish Empire. Even when California joined the United States in 1850, the the names remained intact. Knowing that these names came from Spanish priests could be part of the reason why Mr. Suji in one interview said that the meaning of Sanrio was Holy River. That's where the Spanish influence probably came from, and could be what prompted him to come up with a more detailed backstory, which led to the whole Three Rivers thing that I mentioned earlier that nobody understands. One source stated that Mr. Suji said that he thought that it might be appealing if the company name had a deeper meaning. In one interview, he relates how he remembers studying world cultures, and 
that the earliest three great civilizations were all established along rivers. Babylon near the Tigris River, Egypt along the Nile River, and China along the Yellow River. And Mr. Suji said how he wanted to unite the three great rivers of the world, making them Sanrio, or holy rivers. Yeah, so having a story about rivers really fits with the name Sanrio having the Spanish word for river in it. But then he complicated it a little bit when he decided to add the concept of three, as in the word san, san as in the word sun, which is the Japanese and Chinese word for the number three. So that ties in with having the three rivers, and they are holy because they unite the great civilizations. Uh, I don't even know. <laughs> It's quite a fantastical story, and it added an extra layer of meaning that could appeal to both Western and Asian markets. I mean, awkwardly and forcefully, but yeah, it fits. There is also a second version of where the name comes from that's a lot more logical and simplistic, but it also has one important piece of the puzzle missing which we are going to solve right now. So the second interpretation is that Sanrio's name didn't change much. It retained the original Yamanashi in its name. But how did it do that? Well, if we write the kanji for Yamanashi, we get two characters. And in Japanese, kanji have two ways of reading them. A Japanese pronunciation, which is called kunyomi, and a Chinese pronunciation, which is called onyomi. If we read Yamanashi in onyomi, it can be read as san and ri. It was a really clever way of changing the name without actually changing it. In kanji, it can be read as both Yamanashi and sanri at the same time. And Sanri is almost a name that is marketable in the West, but it sounds a little bit incomplete. So they added the extra syllable O. But why did they add the O? Why not A ah or U? Some sources state that Mr. Suji said that he added the last syllable as O because he wanted it to sound enticing. Like people were excited about something. As in Sanri, oh, look at that cool Hello Kitty coin purse, something. But that explanation sounds kind of not convincing, like it was something he came up with as an afterthought. Okay, so this is where we get into theory territory. Everything I'm about to tell you are things that I've observed, read, and learned about the company and Mr. Suji himself, but has never been confirmed by anyone at Sanrio. It's just pure speculation. A big part of Mr. Suji's success was because of one simple alteration to one of his products, which was adding a strawberry to an otherwise Boring sandal. The success of making this small change was exponential. Mr. Suji realized that the value went up significantly if the product can entice a sentiment of, oh, that's cute. And like the smart businessman that he was, he applied this strategy to all of his products. Launching a full-on strawberry collection of tiny tea sets, slippers, sandals, etc. It made such a successful impact that his former government buddies, who are now his investors, started to jokingly call him the Strawberry King. They even came out with a character named the Strawberry King in 1975, two years after the company changed its name. And coincidentally, or not, the Strawberry King shares the birthday with Mr. Suji himself. And if you look at the Strawberry King's profile, you'll see that he is said to be a kind and benevolent king who brings messages of peace and friendship to everyone. Which is Sanrio's mission statement. What Mr. Suji is always telling people that he and his company are all about. So when we look at Sanrio in its kanji form, and we add the kanji for king, the reading is now Sanrio, as in the Yamanashi King as in Mr. Suji himself, the man from Yamanashi that took the world by storm by making it cute and became the Strawberry King. And that story makes more sense than adding the O makes it sound good. But of course, to call yourself a king is kind of arrogant and could be the reason why Mr. Suji never mentioned it. When he wrote his autobiography, he actually had a lot of criticism with people saying that the book was basically him just bragging about his accomplishments, which is very much frowned upon in Japan as it's seen as pretentious. This could be why he tried to come up with a story that was less about him and was more in tune to branding and the company as a whole and what they represent. Friendship and kindness. But with the passing of Mr. Suji, we'll never get the chance to ask him ourselves. This will all just remain pure speculation. And there you have it, the true origins of the name Sanrio. Basically everything that we read online was true. The only missing piece was that Mr. Suji was constantly changing the backstory in attempts to give the company name a deeper meaning. So what did you guys think? Did you ever wonder about the weird explanation for Sanrio's name? 
Or did you notice some clues that gave you insight into where it really came from? Let me know in the comment section below. And if there's a specific Sanrio topic you'd like me to cover, please let me know as well. If you're enjoying this Sanrio content, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on the notification bell so you never miss a video. I also have an Instagram account that I dedicate to my love for Sanrio, so follow me there as well. If you guys want to support me, you can now leave a thanks. It is the little heart icon here in the video player. Or if you want to support me for free, you could always like, comment, and share this video with someone who you know likes Sanrio. I appreciate all of you. My name is Rosie. This is my channel, Rosio Serial. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you next time.